I am a senior process engineer at Petrolux Midstream, a fictitious midstream company that owns gas plants as well as fractionation facilities. Gas plants convert raw, untreated gas from wells to both sales gas as well as NGLs or natural gas liquids. Fractionation units split the hydrocarbon mixtures in NGLs such as ethane, propane and butane into the individual products. I monitor all plant operations using PyVision. It's a web-based tool to visualize Pi system data. On this landing page, geospatial data in Esri ArcGIS is integrated with operational data in Pi. I also track high-level KPIs such as daily margin, safety scoreboards, and overall plant utilization. All these values come from Pi Asset Framework or Pi AF, which serves as the foundational operational data hub, integrating data from sources such as the plant DCS, financial databases, manufacturer equipment curves, simulation tools, and maintenance systems. Pi AF is the underlying platform I use to configure this digital twin asset model. I can delve deeper into gas plant operation by region and analyze each region's utilization, which is the ratio of actual feed gas rate to design rate. I can then obtain further granularity for each individual gas plant in a region and review KPIs such as amount of NGLs produced, residue gas flow rate, heating value, ethane and propane recoveries, as well as relevant NGL component ratios. I see that this plant as a lower than desired utilization. Drilling deeper into this plant, I can view an overall process block diagram, including the number and status of amine and glycol trains, as well as molecular sieves present at that facility. By selecting a unit block, I can also further analyze current process operating parameters, such as important temperatures, pressures, flow rates, and outlet concentrations for the amine unit, glycol unit, and cryogenic gas plant on their respective process flow diagrams. All these process flow diagrams were built with the native graphics library present in PyVision. Since each unit type is based on the same template in AF, I can quickly switch to another unit using the context switching drop-down menu, such as for different cryogenic plants in this example. Back on the amine unit process flow diagram, I can see that there are specific event frames for me to examine. Event frames are important business time periods that need to be tracked. In this case, I have an excursion where the amine contactor outlet hydrogen sulfide concentration is more than 4 ppm or parts per million, which is an environmental emissions limit. On the event details page, I can add or remove other relevant parameters to be trended and analyzed, such as contactor outlet temperature and pressure. I can also acknowledge and annotate or add a comment to this event with the person entering this information tracked. Going back to the block diagram page, I can further explore the operating status of key equipment groups in that plant, such as heat exchangers, air coolers, compressors, and pumps. On the heat exchangers page, I can view the current heat exchanger efficiencies which is the ratio of operating UA to design UA. I can see a number of these exchangers are red and flashing, which indicates an efficiency less than 75%. This is an example of exception-based reporting where I can change the color of the blocks and also filter which blocks are shown based on specific asset attributes, which are configured in AF first. For instance, if I want to display only the exchangers with more than 80% efficiency and a log mean 
temperature difference, or LMTD, of more than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I can configure this as such. and then click on the Refresh button. I can then click on a specific heat exchanger and analyze its heat transfer details, such as the temperature profile curve by segment, as well as tube and shell inlet and outlet temperatures. I can go back and forth in time to see how these graphs and values change. I can then view relevant event frames, which in this case are for high fouling cases. By choosing event details, I can get a more detailed view for a particular fouling incident. In conclusion, with this integrated collaborative data model in Pi, I am able to effectively diagnose plant operational issues to improve production, quality, reliability, and safety.